Daphne de Maurier said that we're um, West Penwith um, of the hundredths, what they mean. Um, there's ten hundredths of Cornwall. West Penwith, it means the headland of slaughter. Uh, it's the t test area um, for the 5G that they want to roll out. And uh, <coughs> they've started the infrastructure already with um, small cells on... Uh, electric posts and lamp posts, the former having black ones, the latter having white ones. It's the um, internet, internet of Things of 5G smart technology, smart villages for Cornwall. <coughs> Pendine um, appears to be the epicentre of where they are rolling it out. They're, it's push, push, push for have smart meters. <coughs> it's all about um, their, their complete control. They can turn off your electric. Um, remotely because it's uh, a Wi-Fi internet but also 5G is a really really dangerous uh, military waveband um, militarized waveband it's um, smart stands for secret military arms residential technology and they want to use this 5G at between um, 28th start and 2832 um, gigahertz, it can go right up to 100 at the um, high spectrum. They're using it in China at the high spectrum. It's really, really dangerous. Destroys DNA. Um, also, they have to cut down all the big trees that are in their path. So one of the reasons they've chosen one of Cornwall as one of their test sites is because they don't have to cut down lots of big trees. Because we don't have, really have lots of big trees. That tree looks like it's screaming about something. Upset about something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's it looking at? Oh, that's the top of the cross. Yeah, it's like a dragon looking at the top of the cross. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so I'm on a walk to try and find my cat. So I'll see if the view's better from up the hill in a minute. I can't really do much than keep taking the same view from where I'm stood. Here's the amazing uh, cat protection tree. <laughs> it's like pan. I'll try and, uh, if I zoom it in instead of walking with it, um, if I know how to do that. Um, yep. Uh, then you might be able to see her, the cat. Oh, her face has changed, 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 changed. I'm getting close to myself as quickly as I can. So I'm not really looking what I'm doing with the camera. Right, well, I can see her properly again. Oh, walking through the wild garlic. Uh, can't see her now. There she is, I think. Can't see her anymore. Wee, how strange. Oh, yeah, there she is. What? There she is. There she is. Uh, <laughs> there's that white thing that's on the side. Like, oh, it's what's behind, is it? It's like the head of a snail as well from here. Some, some, something from another planet. <laughs> Uh, the spirits. No, a person with a, a tall head from the uh, tribe of the people with tall heads. Uh, anyway, it's a cat protection tree, I reckon. A few of the trees are, lots of trees, all, all, all the trees are cat protection trees because cats can escape from dogs up. up they can escape up them from dogs. <clears throat> so all trees protect cats. There it goes, the sun going down, but you can't get it very clearly. Uh, nice, beautiful places and churchyards, and I can hear the crows. I hope it comes out on this video. The rooks, rather. They're in the a little copse of wood across by there. By there. So you're saying South Wales, and this is the churchyard. Uh, I thought they'd have a service here tonight because it's um, Good Friday. Why do they call it Good Friday? Because uh, it was uh, when Jesus was um, killed. A bit mad. Good Friday, it's tough. It should be called Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday. That's another day. That's uh, Oh, it must be the same one, maybe. That's been... Uh, 
things, everything's cheap. They have deals in all the mobile phone shops and shit. A Black Friday. I thought it was only a, a Welsh thing, but apparently it happens here as well. Uh, oh, you can hear the evening chorus now. It's lovely. You can hear all the birds like, so I hope you can hear them. Five to eight. The start of dusk. The twilight between the two worlds. Dawn and dusk. <laughs> and the full moon. Don't I just love full moon where I live in South Wales? The uh, the neighbours they all seem to have fires all around me, and I used to do that on full moon, have fires. No, I didn't do it before. And my neighbour now she's going to light up a bonfire, as she calls it, later on. So that's all right. Lovely, lovely, cool. She wanted to have a little party in the fields to get to um, meet like-minded people. Isn't that lovely? We have to do that. When the weather's nice in the summer, my beautiful friends um, from Wales, Bass and Sarah, are coming down. Uh, I need to go up to South, back to South Wales as well, because I feel like the the wind, it's kind of like pulling me that way, and uh, I'm looking across to where the wind's actually coming from to walk into the wild wind. And I'll be in the direction of going back to the beautiful valleys that I miss so much. All the mountains and the waterfalls and the trees. So bereft of trees here in West Benway. Okay. Oh, well, I'll post this thing to uh, YouTube. And, uh, maybe I'll post it on the Britain's Ancient Trees. Uh, a long video by Leslie. Uh, but I, I don't know if they allow me to post anymore because I might have upset them because I sort of um, commented mentioning the 5G and then I um, show, showed a picture from, um, what's it what's it called, the group, which is um, nesting, not netting, and it's showing how so many big trees are being cut down all over the country for the rollout of 5G when the birds are nesting as well and they put netting over all the ones that they want to go and uh, we know what's happening like. So, uh, so the people who, you know, it's celebration of all our own ancient trees, but, but, you know, we also need to protest about things that, like, um, the Bodongas and, uh, well, Swampy, um, the Dan and Jenny, <coughs> Dan, Dan was, uh, it was to save ancient woodland, uh, <coughs> um, over by Andover somewhere, the, the Newbury Bypass. And there were protesters. We need to protest about things, to stop bad things, because otherwise we won't have any trees. Uh, it kills DNA as well. They chop down all the trees. It's a millimetre wave band. It uh, destroys DNA. They kill everyone. It's about total, total control as well. And so they can do it all by the frequency. And they've got tra transmittery things with all the small cells on the lamppost and everything. And the geoengineering in the sky. It's a, it's a mad combination what they can do with it. It's mind control. They can, uh, yeah. Yeah. Frequency weapons. Uh, and spy on people and also the control. Cut off cut your um, heating if you've got smart meters because that's remote and controlled spy on your every uh, footstep through the smart system that comes into your house with your stupid smart meter or your stupid smartphone or your stupid smart TV they're even more um, stupid they, they, everyone knew that that was a two way system <laughs> to spy on people <laughs> so you get on their radar uh, Put on your location, put on your location, and then they think they've got it in the end. And it sort of comes up that one lot of people have got it, and the other ones that have got it are still way off. Confuse them, buggers. What they want to know your location for, nosy fucks. So that they, so that they can target you. Yes, persecution. They had this amazing... Uh, um, thing for Good Friday that I, I went to, um, I was one of the first people to go there um, a couple of days ago and it was amazing, all the all the different sort of 
things like persecution to like um little things to, to do um to yeah it's really lovely you go, going around and like for being persecuted it was three lots of wool there was you or any friend of yours that was persecuted i think it was and jesus to help or was that the one about fear but it was really nice like all the, all the way around it's really nice lots of the uh, presbyterians and the evangelists they all know about the global geoengineering at least they're able to <laughs> you know that they're speaking out about it and all the pagan groups we should all be speaking out about it so um i've got to get in touch with like Mm, people like who like to chant like me to make the sun stay nice and saying prayer at the same time to nature because if you're part of nature you're part of god so um yeah we all we all need to uh band together as well to try and stop this happening but it's going to be so difficult to stop it happening here because we've got cold roads up the base up the road they're involved with it and uh yeah so terrible 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 <sighs> The world we live in. How do I move back to the epicenter of the rollout for it? <laughs> Be safe back in much better back, back in South Wales. I'm only like bloody hell. No, New Newlands like um, 11 miles away as the crow flies from Cold Rose. And um, Lizard Peninsula, where um, it feels better, um, that's still only 13 miles away. We're probably about 13 miles away as the crow flies. Freaky, freaky. Uh, we need a, another referendum, another... Well, we need a general election. Oh. Uh, and if we're not under the European umbrella, we'll be under the American, which is worse. Oh, where all this system 5G and everything came from. Then there was the, uh, also in Europe, um, because there's, uh, mm, like, lots of bad stuff, like, um, what are they called? Um, Kodak Alimentarios, and I believe that they are the genetically, um, altered food company, um, which is massive in Europe. Monsanto, all their glycosates just don't eat wheat because it um, causes cancer, glycosates and everything. And corn, modi mo genetically modified corn as well. <laughs> that is really, really, really dodgy. Um, it's so evil because Monsanto as well. They're charging the people whose natural corn it was to start with that they um, that they they destroyed, uh, they messed up their natural corn because it got cross-pollinated and now they're charging them for having a gene of Monsanto's fucking ingredient that they never even wanted. It's dangerous and dodgy or evil, evil lot. But it's all right because, well, it's not all right. There's some people prosecuting them um, for getting cancer and that. But for goodness sake, <coughs> don't eat genetically all the things... <coughs> <laughs> the, oh, I love the rooks, aren't they wonderful? Can you hear the rooks? I love them. I love them. The rooks in the trees at the back of the churchyard. Aren't they great. All coming home to roost. Wow. I love them. Ravens, they're my favourite crow family. Kings of the crew family, the ravens. <laughs> mm, the jays, the reputedly the most handsome of the crow member of the crow family, um, but preferably I prefer the black ones to jays. I like the rooks. <laughs> I like the rooks and the ravens. A raven. Wow, Merlin was a raven, and the rooks. Love the rooks. They're wonderful. They're just beautiful. Rooks can talk. They're so clever. My other crows. Jackdaws are beautiful. I, I protected a whole load of jack jackdaws <coughs> because um, they'd um, I had to let the council know they couldn't do the roof because they were living in the in the sort of eaves. And then when they were learning to fly, I had uh, seven cats at the time. And um, was it more nine cats at the time? 
and uh, so I would like babysitting all day to make sure that the cats didn't get one because when I woke up in the morning there was one of the poor little babies that hadn't changed colour yet, this little jackdaw and it was just all black and it was beautiful and it was dead on the floor but it could have like fell out its nest, I don't know what happened it probably, of course it didn't know how to fly and the cats must have swooped down on it, it was really sad so I babysat the rest of the family for the rest of the day to make sure my cats didn't have them. That was my that was most real, my responsibility to do that. Uh, why is it looking all dull now? So here it is, the Church. Ooh. 